Hello, YouTube fam. Hi. This is, this is Joseph. He's the star of the show today. I brought him here. Isn't Hi. he pretty? <laughs> just, just gorgeous. Just Hi. gorgeous. I'm Natasha. This is my channel. I'm Joey. Um, I am very focused on mindset, fitness, and nutrition, and trying to find optimization in all three in life to build true wealth. And I just recently completed a bodybuilding competition. Um, most importantly, I completed an 11 month prep, which was a long time. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but 11 months is one Almost month a shy year. of a year. <laughs> so I thought, we thought, I, I came up with the idea and I asked Joey if told. he would be very willing to be on today's um, episode. Episode? Video. Video. Good. Long. Love that I got that. Love that I got through that. Um, talking about the other side of prep, the partner's side of prep, because me going through an 11 month prep is hard, but being the partner of somebody going through prep is also very hard, especially if you're not in prep, if you're not also a bodybuilder. And there's a lot of heightened requirements at times that are unspoken. And if you have a really good partner, they're met. However, man, I can't even imagine being on the other side of it because being on my side of it, I needed the support and he was just there. So that was just great. It was like fairies. I was like, I just need this. And he was like, okay. I was like, okay, that's great. Um, but I can only imagine on his side of things like how difficult that might've been. And so that is why we are here today to interview Joseph. And I have some questions from the Instagram um, you actually wrote them down though. So oh, yeah. where's your computer? Oh, you do. Well, yeah, I'm gonna pull them up. That would be wonderful. Okay, I guess. Vandaba. Okay, Vandaba. so I have some. I put that up onto Instagram and I asked some questions, and so I'm going to ask him these questions. And I actually don't know the answers to these questions outside of my own perspective. So it'll be really nice to hear his side of things as well. Is there anything that you'd like to add before we start? No. <laughs> Maybe I'll add something at the end. I don't know. <laughs> I can't think of anything to add before we start. Great. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I have a personal question for you. Okay. Would you ever do a bodybuilding competition? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe. One day. Maybe. Maybe one day. It's open. To be awesome. determined. Yeah, flex, to TBD. Flex your bicep. Flex your bicep. No. Yeah. You see, I'm flexing it. Okay, anyway, going to the first question because you're being painful. Um, okay, so the first question I'm going to bring because it's more fun. Weird things she did during prep because I think this is just funny to start. So okay. what are some of the weird things I did during prep? So I wish I could remember them all, but I can't because my memory sucks. So <laughs> the things that I can note were... Um, I've also listened to a lot of podcasts, like fitness related podcasts. So this isn't actually anything new because they talk about it in their fitness related podcasts. Cool. One is obsessing over foods you can't eat. And that is, that, that came more towards the end. And it was funny because <laughs> I had listened to it in the podcast and then all of a sudden it became a reality because it was like <gasps> this, I'm going to like, I'm going to make this food and this is the food I'm going to make once, once I'm not on my diet anymore. And these are the places we can go to eat. Like these are these high calorie um, like restaurants that we can go to eat. These are these high calorie delicious meals. And don't get me wrong, she does this now anyways. Like, so would I. Like, that's just who we are in our relationship. We do like to splurge on fun, um, joy filled foods. Joy filled, unique, uh, different New. types of food. Yeah. But it was different at that point. And the only way I could describe it, it was, it was like a bit more almost obsessive and a bit more. Um, like she got a lot of joy out of it too. <laughs> like now it's just like, oh, hey, do you want to check out this new burger place that's in town? Yeah, that sounds great. But, but then it was like, oh my God, there's these amazing burgers that I'm going to make us once I'm off my diet. And like, they're going to be so good. And it was just like, <laughs> she would get just so much more enjoyment out of it. I was very excited because I, I really enjoy cooking and I love experiencing food, the experience of food. During my prep, I had the same food throughout the entire 11 months, 
which is fine. Like it's, it's not the end of my life. It's one year of my life. It's a blip in my existence. But it was one of those things where towards the end, especially when I was like very leaned out, um, I knew that I would want to get my calories back up because I wanted to gain, I knew I would want to gain weight. And so it was like, Ooh, okay. So I'm going to like not hyper splurge through every single day, just like very particular this week, uh, right after prep I want to do this and then the week after that I want to do this and then the week is to like slot them in so it wasn't like I gained a ton of weight right away but I gained weight in the way I wanted to with a lot of food experiences and joy and cooking again <laughs> um and the second one I wouldn't say it's weird but it was very different was extreme low energy and by that, I mean, she just wanted to cuddle, cuddle up on the couch and I forgot what you were doing necessarily. You were just doing something, but you were just doing it for possibly hours on end. Word searches. <laughs> yeah, that was it. It was word search. She would just word search for hours on end. I'd be like, do you want to watch a movie? And she's like, no, not really. And... The irony is, <laughs> at this point in time, I was getting back into gaming, so this just fit perfectly. Because I could spend hours on end gaming with no repercussions. Because she would just be doing word searches. <laughs> and we would go to sleep, there were nights we'd go to sleep at like, she'd be like 7 o'clock at night. I'm just tired, so I think we should go to sleep now. Okay, are you cool if I just stay up and game for a bit? Because I'm not tired. Yeah, that's fine, but I'm going to go lay down. Excellent. And that just meant, like, I could just spend a whole evening gaming to myself. And Tash would just be there beside me doing word searches. And, sleep, <laughs> and, and or sleeping, apparently. Yeah, I did, I did word searches because they're, it needed mental focus. It took me out of my head. So, like, this was more towards the end of my prep, just to be clear. Like, when I was, like, oh, yeah. again, yeah, leaned, this was leaned out. Very I was close cutting, to, like, last few months. Not most. even months. It was, like, I would say a month and a half. Like, mm -hmm. maximum month and a half. But yeah. it doesn't matter. Towards the end, it was, it was so hard. So, from my perspective, I was, like, really hungry. And we were doing stints where it was, like, low calorie, low calorie for, like, two weeks straight. And then we'd have a refeed. And then I'd be, like... So, I, I just needed to get out of my head and when you are in that place where you still are working out four times a week you have cardio every single day um you're doing all of these wild things for physical output you just have major crashes um but then on top of that you just think so much you're like thinking about food and it it gets really intense so i would do word searches because when i was doing word searches i couldn't think about anything but finding the words um so it was really helpful for me I felt terrible during that time. Like personally, I felt like really bad because I was like, I am a vegetable. Like I am a terrible partner. I have nothing, <laughs> like nothing to give at this point. But then he was just so okay. Like he was very supportive and it was, yeah, because he started playing WoW again. <laughs> I was so just that was game. great. I was happy to game. And he, he would ask me to play, and I looked at I would look at it. I'm like, no, like <laughs> there's none of not because I don't like wow. I play it with him now because my brain could literally not like no. I looked at it. I'm like that is chaos, and that is a lot of energy. I don't want to have to think. So no, I'm good. Um, okay, so in regards to the first one, was like the obsessing over foods or snacks. Was there anything that you could like give to other partners that might be um healthy or like good or helpful to them to help their partner through that stuff i don't i don't know if you do help somebody through that you just allow them to enjoy themselves like i i thought it would have been more detrimental to just like shame you for it yeah i so agree that, that would be really weird yeah. so just like one I've already listened to enough podcasts to know that that is extremely normal and across the board and people do that. Two, I've had that happen to me because I remember when I was like one of the first few times I was cutting, I ended up binging Epic Meal Time. Like I got really <laughs> into their channel for a while and I just watched them create these Epic Meals on YouTube and I'm like, why am I, like I'm literally only allowing myself to eat potatoes and rice every day and meat and whatnot and oatmeal. And I'm just watching these guys create these massive concoctions of food. And I loved it. 
because it was like somehow I could participate in this engorging of food but not have to actually spend. engage and eat the calories or spend the money. No, spend the calories as well as when I say. Yeah. Yeah. What about with the uh, low energy and whatnot? <sighs> Um, just know it's I coming. Mean, like, just yeah. know it's coming with somebody cutting. Even it's, if they're on PEDs, like, you're going to get hit with fatigue. When you are at that low of caloric intake, it doesn't really matter. Now, everybody's experience is different. I do know some people who have a very easy time cutting, and they do such a small cut as well. Like, they do a 12-week prep. And so they might not be hit as hard. But majority of people who are going through a cut um, especially one that might be a little bit more intense, they're going to get hit with fatigue. <laughs> so. Yeah. I mean, her calories were cut, if not in half, in half pretty much, or close enough to where it's just like you, you can just, you just can't imagine somebody having enough calories in their day to be able to manage and function. And so I can just imagine that your body is just wanting to shut down. It's just not wanting to do the things that you would normally do. And then that is just, that is just a repercussion of the diet. And that is natural. Yeah. It's just, it's a side effect, if you will. Yeah. So like letting, the thing that was really helpful for me was, um, he didn't try to like force me to go and be social. It'd be more of like, do you want to go and be social? And sometimes I really did. Like I, I wanted to participate in that way my birthday was like a month before my show <laughs> so we had he he did everything like he organized where it was outside got all the people there i didn't have to do anything in regards to food or anything. i just literally had to show up and like talk to people and that was probably one of the best days ever because i couldn't have done anything more than just that <laughs> but he knew that and understood that so i mean like if i were saying from my perspective, the best thing that as a partner you could do is understand that that last like four to six weeks is going to be nothing. Like don't try and force things. Don't try, let it come naturally. If the, if she, if people, she, he, whatever wants to be social in that time, great, but help them to understand that rest is the most important thing so that they can still have output for their cardio, so they can still have output for their workouts, so they can still have uh, like energy to make their meals and also still like at least be a, somewhat of a partner. Um, but just like don't punish them for the tired because no, no amount of caffeine, no amount of caffeine saved me. No. No amount of caffeine saved me. It would have only been food. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next question. Um, how do you, how did you support her during her hardest days, breaking down exhaustion? Um, I didn't, I just walked away, just let her suffer. Be like, <laughs> the calorie, she's not gonna remember what happened anyways, so it's The better. calorie fuck. Um, no. 84 know, years later. Be there, be kind, be understanding. Um, that's Again, like, I just don't really, I don't remember there being any significant moments. Like, in hindsight, the moments were there, but they weren't huge or significant. Like, they didn't lead to huge arguments or petty squabbles. It was just like, okay, this is a particularly hard day. There are multiple days where Tash cried or was very emotional. And it was just a matter of understanding, yes, that was going, like, we both knew that was going to happen, or at least we knew in all likelihood that that was going to happen before it happened or before we got to that stage. Yeah. And all it takes is a little bit of, yes, I know, let me hold you. Do you want a hug? Yeah, you can't fix and, it. And not trying to, again, antagonize or shame. Or fix. Unless I, unless I wanted a little bit of humor in my day, and then I might just a little bit poke a little bit of fun. He is a, he's a brat. <laughs> I'm a brat. He definitely poked fun. I'm but like in a very kind way. It was a, in a way that made me like laugh cry. Um, yeah, I would say that that's pretty spot on. I was really lucky that Joey is also just athletic. 
and he's been bodybuilding since he was 15. He's never competed, but he understands cutting and bulking. And so I think the number one thing would just be to like educate yourself prior to. So like going into a prep and doing a show is an awesome idea. It is. Um, I think a lot of the issues that a partner or the person in the prep face going through it is that they didn't do enough research ahead of time or they didn't listen to enough conversations about it ahead of time and so that's why I really wanted to have Joey's side out there for other partners to hear it's like okay yeah this dude had to like live through this like he would just come home and I would just be and then I would just like like break down and cry <laughs> just, she, would, like, oh, she would work so hard throughout the week and her coach would not up her calories. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was And she not would break fun. down. <laughs> that was and a hard that one. that was a cycle. <laughs> that, was, that was tough. That was tough. That was towards the end. And rightfully so, he didn't. It was just the wording. It was just the wording that killed me. I also cried during peak week. I think I had a full-on breakdown during peak week because I was so tired and I was so low-calorie but I realized it was almost over. So it was just like one of those moments where I was just like, I'm suffering, but I also don't want it to end. And I was just a mess, like a puddle. And I, it made no sense. It's like, you want this to be over. You're so tired, <laughs> but you also don't want it to ever end because it's been such an epic journey. How did you deal with that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah, that's fine. Probably the same way as the other ones. That's fair. Um, would you say that there's anything that we could have done different as a couple facing my prep? Um, that is a good question. There's possibly ways we, if we fully understood like how challenging the dieting phase would be or like the cutting phase would be, maybe ha having specific rewards or goals in mind where like even if your reward for your week of dieting ended up being postponed we could have provided or i could have provided in some sense a reward where it's like okay yes your coach is making you push a little harder but you achieved this goal and so now i'm going to help you with something yeah, I like that. That's not food based. It just yeah, never, not don't food make it based. anything food based. That was my. That like was an, my I like activity based or something. Yeah, that's a really good idea. I like that a lot. So if anybody wants to take that, I'll be competing again. So hopefully next time, we're bulletproof, and also we'll have little prizes for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, okay, let's keep going. Um, <clears throat> was it weird? I think the actual question, oh yeah, was it weird seeing her as lean as she got? And then you put, was it weird watching body transformation? Yeah, it was just, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> I summarized. Yeah, it was fine. <laughs> made sense to me. Um, and um, not particularly because with any body transformation, we're both seeing it day by day. So like, I, I can imagine if, if Sasha had her friends who hadn't seen her in weeks or months here, the progression would have been like, wow, you look so much different. But because we are seeing each other literally every day, um, it wasn't. But then there would still be those odd moments, not odd moments, because they weren't odd, but there would be from time to time where I'd be like, wow, her physique is so much different. Um, usually related to posing or just like playing around in the mirror in the bathroom so yeah. like playing around with abs and just like seeing the different ways that you can flex your abs yeah, i think i have and core. then being and we, for whatever reason whenever we get lean we get obsessive over stomach veins i hate them I think we start so talking gross. about them all the time she thinks they're gross i think they're amazing um <laughs> Because they're, to me, a sign of really hard work because you typically don't get stomach veins unless you get very lean. Um, or seeing, like, the separation and the obliques and the abs and whatnot. Uh, but, yeah, there were, like, the, those odd singled-out moments where it was just, like, wow. Like, the, tr the physique looks so much different, so much leaner. Um, but for the most part, it was, like, 
yeah, be, it looked normal because it was only slightly different than it was the day before. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. What was your biggest reward of that experience, of the bodybuilding experience? Um, probably the same as you, is watching you on stage. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't the end <laughs> where we could go for dinner. <laughs> No. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, but it also like coincided because I was also dieting and losing weight at that same time. Um, so it's not like I, I was missing out or I felt like I was missing out in any capacity. In fact, it helped me adhere to my diet a lot more. Um, but yeah, just watching you on stage. That's cool. It was really cool. What was the hardest part of the prep journey for you? The hardest part of the prep journey? Um, the hardest part of the prep journey was probably you breaking down over the little things. Mm. It wasn't super hard, but it was like, part of me just wanted to shake you. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, this is a really insignificant thing and you're break you're melting because of this. And it it was it was the little bit of me just like begrudgingly like hugging you. <laughs> like I grit my teeth and I'm like, come here baby, it's all gonna be okay. <laughs> okay, I have one that's like mine, I'll say mine and then you say yours and then we'll finish with the any recommendations because I don't want to be super long or anything. But Okay. Um I'm going to say what mine is first so you can understand the question more. But was there anything that you had expected to happen from the prep or during the prep um, that didn't happen or didn't happen the way that you thought that it would? And here's the example I'm going to give because mine. Sure. mine. Yeah. So uh, as, as, it, as it happens, it just, it just happens, ladies and gents. Your sex drive plummets. It just happens. It's like, your body's like, you can't survive on your own. I'm not going to make a baby. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, but I, like, in my brain, I was like, oh, I'm going to look freaking fly. Like, I'm going to look so good. I'm going to look fantastic. I'm gonna have such great muscles. I'm gonna be sexy and I'm gonna wanna bang. <laughs> I'm gonna look so good. I'm gonna wanna bang. I'm using the word bang, I don't care. Uh, and that never happened. <laughs> there was not any point in my cut where I was like, I want to be ravished. It was more like, oh, I really hope he doesn't wanna have sex. <laughs> With the occasional, like, I would have, like, a peak moment of energy where I'd be like, yes, but it was, like, nothing crazy. Okay, like, just, like, don't, don't go wild. We're, we're going very vanilla, very short, very easy. Um, and so that was, like, something I had, I had envisioned. I was like, oh, I'm going to look so hot, and on show day, I'm going to just want to throw down. And it just, it just was not the case. It was just not the case. I just did not have the energy for it. It looked great. Looked great. Okay. Looked great. Could not do anything with it. It was very disappointing. <laughs> so, <laughs> would like to not get that lean long period of time. I like sex. Okay. Anyway, that was mine. So. That's a good one. <laughs> That's fair. For you? Uh, what was the question again? Was there anything that you had, like, thought would happen during the bodybuilding prep or, like, expected and then it didn't happen or it didn't happen the way that you thought? expectations that I yeah. had not met. Um. <laughs> uh, not really. Like, off the top of my head, related to the bodybuilding prep, there were no expectations set on my part outside of... A silly one. I thought I was going to get leaner. <laughs> Not leaner than her. I just thought I was going to get leaner than I had gotten. And to be fair, I had gotten... I had weighed less by the end of her prep than I had in probably 10 or 12 years. Like, I, I got to, I think, about 160... 
167 or 168, I think. I don't know, it's in my phone. Which is the leanest I've been, yeah, in a very, very long time. And definitely the lightest I've weighed in a very, very long time. And I thought I was going to get leaner. Uh, but the difference was she was stepping on stage and I wasn't. So I was still free to, like, eat chocolate bars, order takeout. Uh, there were many times, when, not many, yeah, there were quite a few times <laughs> when she would come home and be like, did you eat ice cream? And I'm like, yes. She's like, you don't have to hide it, you know? <laughs> and I'm like, well, you know, I just thought that I could, I didn't want to tempt you or something like that. So I was, she wasn't hiding treats from me. I was hiding treats from her. It was so funny. It was so funny. And everybody's different, but like, it didn't bother me watching him eat. I was completely unbothered by it. And I said that to him a lot, actually. Which the caveat of, she said, if I made popcorn at home, I would have to eat it outside. Yeah, that or was something the only difference. To that like idea. the popcorn, the popcorn something that just smelt me. really nice. That's just it. Like I could, I was fine with him having fast food. I was fine with him having ice cream, chocolate. I just like that did not in any way bother me. But for some reason, the smell of popcorn as it's being made, it was hurtful to my soul. But everything else was fine. He was being s weird and sneaky for yeah. no reason. And I'm like, I feel like this is just you being weird and sneaky for because like you were trying to hide you, your thing because you're trying to be lean. Yeah. Not because of me at all. So sneaky, sneaky. I know what your brain was doing. Okay, any recommendations for um, the other side? So like if, if there are partners out there that actually watch this or have a partner that's going through a prep right now, do you have any recommendations for them? Or anything um, that you can give for advice? Well, just have your expectations set properly. Um, everybody's gonna go through prep differently, but everybody suffers some pretty similar effects from prep. Um, and yeah, just try to be supportive and understanding and grit your teeth and smug and high, smug and high. Smug and hug. Oh, that's new. I Smile and hug. <laughs> Smile and hug is always good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, you know, maybe just like, just like, just help. Joey no. is very helpful though. Like that's the thing. He just already does like dishes and sweeps and stuff. So it's not like it is crazy, but it does, it does help. Like in that last stint, especially if, Somebody can like step up while that energy shift is happening. Cause you're going from like having a hundred percent battery life to being permanently on like 30% battery life. And you could be plugged in. It doesn't matter. You ain't going to charge. You're just going to be at like consistent 30%. At that point, I would hope that for you as a partner and for, uh, for the person that's about to step on stage, the most important thing for you is to in that last four to six weeks, squeeze the last bit of juice out of the fucking lemon so that it's worth it. <laughs> because if you, if you don't and you get up on the stage or you watch your partner get on stage and you are not proud of everything that they're bringing on that stage, that means that that entire prep and all of that tired and shit and mess and chaos was not worth it. Make it worth it. Make it worth it. Help out in the last six weeks. Help them squeeze the juice. Squeeze the juice. Should I do another competition? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Should I compete in a different division? Yes. <laughs> federation. Oh, okay. Okay, different federation. What one should I compete in? Men's physique. Yep, going up against C Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, I think my bicep is the size of his nose. Nose. <laughs> His nose. <laughs> His nose there, bud. Uh, federation in mind? Um, I no. Think like IFBB. I don't know enough about federations. But IFBB. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And wellness? Do you want me to have bigger legs, a bigger butt? What's your dream? I think you could pull off all this. But I think you could still do bikini, but that's say. just me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you heard it here first. I'm either going to do one or two. Bikini wellness. Bikini or wellness or bikini wellness. 2024. <laughs> yeah, 2024. But first, let's run a marathon. Yeah. Grit. Gang gang. Okay.
If you have any questions, please send them in. We can do more of these if you want. Okay, love you. Bye.